Hi guys, this is my game, Battle Siege Royale. I just finished programming the artificial intelligence movement, and now I am going to try and get all of them out of my line of fire before they take me out and send me into a spiral of oblivion like that. So as you can see, my physics need a little bit of work, but the um, movement programming is for the most part um, functional, if at the very least needing just a little bit of tweaking. Um, I do plan to add mass to these siege weapons um, just so that they're a little bit more stable when they're moving and then increase the force that moves them and probably increase the friction between the um, siege and the terrain on which it moves. You can see that uh, Every once in a while when I hit an anomaly in the terrain, it kind of sends me um, flying just a little bit or kind of gives me a little bit of a ramp effect. So I'm hoping that with a greater mass and more friction, that will be mitigated to an extent. Um, see, he just hopped right there. Um, going uphill right now is pretty difficult just because um, the way that the physics are being applied in this movement. Um, this moves um, with the force being applied to both the right side wheels and the left side wheels. But it is operated by using your typical WSAD um, or a uh, controller gamepad. I use the PlayStation 4 controller with the um, DS4 Windows um, plug-in personally. And when these quit spinning, I can shoot them again. All of these assets, 3D models, were made by me. Um, textures I got from what was formerly cgtextures.com. I think it's now called textures.com. And um, either modified or edited in some way or another in Photoshop with the alpha channels for these trees. Um, have a little bit of fortification here. In a later build of this game, I would like to make these fortifications destructible so that you can shoot past them and get into other areas of the map. Um, this here um, particular um, palisade is actually a uh, barrier to the edge of the map, so these ones would not be destructible, but other um, little castles and ruins in various parts of the map that do act as obstacles between the AI and the player um, it would be nice if they were destructible maybe even um, much later down the road um, buildable as um, fortifications um, create kind of a uh, gameplay tactic um, as a regular battle royale game I would like to at some point um, have upgrades available um, through the destruction of castles, um, exploration, um, looting off of other players, and so on. And with a ever-shrinking um, circle that closes the players in closer and closer together until ultimately one winner is um, crowned as the last standing survivor um, as a typical Battle Royale gameplay style. Um, for now, there is no multiplayer component. This is just artificial intelligence against the player. You can see I need to work out my crosshair just a little bit here. That's all tweaking um, for, for later gameplay um, when I'm closer to a more solid build. These are all things that can be addressed after the uh, more... Uh, rough programming is finished. Uh, get the hard part out of the way first and then go tweak those those easier to to uh, control parameters later. I uh, certainly do intend to add a lot more of diversity to this landscape. Some more trees, um, rocks, that kind of stuff. Uh, just to make the level a little bit more interesting. Um, I do plan to make several different maps with a uh, different types of terrain, maybe do some uh, islands, peninsulas, um, any kind of uh, geographical landscape that would add a little bit of diversity and just uh, give the player something new to look at. 
But overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this um, rough and crude build that I have going on here. You can see the uh, movement component on, on this uh, player siege weapon, how it moves up and down and side to side based on where the crosshair is pointed. Um, it does have bounds, so see if I if I go further, it's it's not going to turn anymore. And likewise over here, um, it's all based on the physics of the projectile. So if I aim really high, you see that projectile goes way up and way far. If I zoom the crosshair down low, it's going to give me a straighter path with less arch. So theoretically, if one was good enough at aiming, which I am not. I would be able to hit that upside down ballista over there from this far away. Let's see, I'm so close to hitting him. Ah, oh, there we go, I got him. Um, obviously, th that would be very difficult if he wasn't disabled in the fact that he was upside down and he was coming towards me. And so this does become a little bit more of a uh, close range combat game. I have modeled a trebuchet and will model a catapult as alternate player and AI siege weapons to battle with and against. Um, I haven't worked out all of the programming for the trebuchet yet, but that is in the works. Um, I think I want to perfect the ballista first and then um, copy and paste that code onto the other siege weapons and then modify them accordingly in a way that makes sense. Um, down the road, it would be nice to do some animation where maybe you see this uh, kind of uh, crossbow shaped uh, thing here um, actually animating to push that projectile forth instead of just having the static mesh just launching out from the ballista would make it more, look more natural. But those are all things that can be done later on. Um, I'm not particularly savvy with animation, although... I am sure that I can learn, um, but programming first. Um, definitely want to iron out all the programming in this game before anything else. Anyway, um, to keep this video from being too long, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But I'm very happy with what I have going so far, and I'm hoping to have a relatively reasonable demo done in maybe the next uh, month. So. Uh, Stay posted. Thanks for watching my video, guys.